show tonight? It was good. It was crazy. It was loud. There was screaming. Justin Bieber was a robot for a brief minute, which was cool. Was that your favorite moment? Um, I think that all of Taylor Lautner's face was my favorite moment. Ditto. <laughs> Wait, and doesn't your episode minute. of The Glades air tonight? It does. It airs right now. I'm getting texts. I was like sitting in the thing and they go to intermission, they like go to commercial break and it's like, oh my gosh, loving you on the Glades. Oh my gosh, fast forward. I'm like, oh. So is it T-Vote at home right now? Are you going to go watch it after this? Yeah, I'm sure my parents are watching it. But um, yeah, I, I don't, I'm not like, a, all right, let's go home and watch my own face. <laughs> I'm actually probably going to go to Hot Wings to go get Hot Wings and Fried Pickles after this. Oh my gosh, you're amazing. That's probably, I literally, Spencer, my date and I have just the entire time have been like, so... Hot wings, yeah, it's great, supreme. What was it like filming the Glades? Insane. It was insane. It was, um, you know, I've been on like a million sitcom sets, and I go and I shadow directors or I'll write. So more than kind of just the Disney stuff, I've definitely been on tons of sitcom sets. But going to drama shows, the only one I'd really been on was Private Practice. So to go and play a coke addict on Private Practice, and then go <laughs> and play a murder victim, a murder suspect on the Glades was so different. And flying to so fun. It was great. It was amazing and genuine. Yeah. Everyone was so hardworking. You know, I, I, there's something about, I love my kids more than anything in the world. Every once in a while, going on a set with just adults is kind of a culture shock. And it's really cool. It's a really cool thing to, to grow because, you know, a lot yeah. of people my age that are doing what I do are surrounded by adults. And we live in such an adult world. And I'm the adult usually on my show. And I'm producer and writer and executive Debbie. So it's cool to be able to, and like nanny Debbie. <laughs> so it's cool to go on the Glades and be like, you know, the sitcom kid. Yeah, and you get to learn a lot. It was fun, and you know, they were incredibly nice, and they they had amazing things to say about my performance, and I was, was very humble just to see how well I kind of fit in, and we all, it just flowed, and things went really well, so they were like, That's so great. come on back. So if you watch it, and if you want to see me on more of it, let me know. Tell me. Can you tell me anything about your upcoming clothing line? Um, that's so funny. That's kind of buzzing around. I definitely have something in the works. Um, and it's not necessarily as on the nose as that sounds, but there's definitely something huge in the works. I'm very involved in fashion. I took an art sketching class when I was younger, and I used to just sketch dress designs and wedding dresses and things like that. Because um, I wore my brother's old, like, hand-me-down shorts. So what? I kind, of, I kind of was, like, you know, living my, like, fairy tale girl dream through these clothes that I would design and I just tucked them in a sketchbook and never really did much with them so it's funny now the more that I'm kind of experiencing fashion labels and designers I'm I'm the shows and and kind of like the fact that I'm wearing Bibu Mohapatra you look after. great by the way okay so it just showed in the resort 2013 collection and I was freaking out and then of course what are you gonna do with that other than put it with Chanel shoes and curls on them of course so but the fact that you kind of I'm like really experimenting on not only the big, the staples like Chanel, which everyone loves, but then there's like the up and comers and really keeping your eye on that. I'm very involved in the fashion realm, so I'm excited to kind of explore my newest venue at that and tell everyone all about it. Please keep us updated on that and have so much fun tonight. Thanks for talking to us. Thank you very much. Take care.